Okay, this is a quick video to show uh, the WITS ad hoc reporting tool. Uh, we've done this in a technology that's part of SQL Server 2005 and 2008. Uh, the acronym is SSRS. It stands for SQL Server Reporting Services. And it's a really nice way of, of having a uh, basically a human readable layer on top of your database. Um, and it lets you to really take a look at your data in a way that doesn't require the users to see table names and field names that uh, programmers may have set up. Uh, but instead it has things that are pretty logical here like client first name, client last name. We spent a lot of time to, to make that data very readable. And uh, in this case we're taking a look at uh, a test database for one of the California counties and uh, that's using WITS. And we've taken the time to model the each one of the real uh, important entities. So these are the real common areas that you would want to create a report within. Uh, you can see it's kind of logically organized, so it's admission, for example, here's your client related fields, everything that's got to do with the client profile. Uh, here's an encounter, so that's an individual service being provided. We can ask questions about, uh, you know, uh, when, this, wh when services were provided, uh, the cost, and so forth. Um, here's discharge. So we've done a lot of work to model the database and to organize it in a way that makes creating these reports real easy. Once you decide what you actually want to look at, um, you, you select the entity. And I'm just going to give you a, a quick example of how fast you can build a report here. Um, if I select the the agency name as one of the fields I'm curious to uh, to report on here, I can grab this field, drag it onto the report, let it go, and now I've got a field on my report. Uh, it bolds out here to show me that that field is being used in my report already. Um, I've got another field here called number of admissions. And I like to just show as an example, uh, here's a two column uh, report, a real simple table report that I'm building. Uh, and if I wanted to, that's you know as far as I need to go. I just built a report that's going to give me the number of admissions for every single agency in my entire county, and I'm done. Okay, so if I wanted to look at this, if I wanted to say uh, SSRS demo video report, right? Uh, I could run this report. I could kind of test run it here if I wanted to, or I could just go ahead and save it, which I'm going to do. I'm going to save this out to the web, and we've got a website with a bunch of folders. Uh, I'm going to put this into a folder called Top Secret. It's not really. It's just fake data, but I'm sticking it there anyway. And we'll just call it uh, SSRS video demo. Okay, and to show you how quick this happens, I'm going to go over to that website. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this screen. Um, that website is here. This is the actual reporting uh, view of, of the actual reports. So I can go into Top Secret, there's my folder, and boom, there's my one report that I've created. It's sitting in there, SSRS Video Demo. I'm going to run it, and it should just appear. Okay, it's running. And hopefully I've got some valid data in here. Okay, I do. So there's my title. I built that. Here's my agency names. Um, these are all, this is all fake test data from Mendocino County. Um, I see all the number of admissions. If I want, I can sort by each one of these different fields. Um, so now I'm sorted from uh, lowest to highest. I could flip it around, go from highest to lowest. Okay, I could also export this report into any one of these formats. So XML, CSV, TIFF file, PDF, Web Archive, or Excel. I could export it right from here. Or here's the coolest feature in here. It's called a subscription. I can say, let's have a new subscription, uh, meaning I want this email to automatically come to me. So my name, Chris White. Okay, this would come to me. Uh, the subject of the report is already uh, named automatically and I can say how often I want this report to show up. I'm going to have it Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's going to come to me as a uh, an Excel file. Okay, so I can have this run automatically, so it's just showing up in my inbox. Um, this is real handy if you've got some clinical management reports, some state level, county level reports that you just you know you need to keep track of, and you, kn you no longer have to remember to go into the tool to run the report. It's just going to show up and you can say what type of file it's going to be. So in this case, an Excel sheet. And I could say OK to that subscription. Boom, it's loaded, and that's just going to come to me now every uh, on whatever schedule I specified. So SSRS reporting is very powerful. Uh, lots of potential there, and uh, it's definitely quicker than having uh, programmers build a report for you.